So just um, from what you said before, it seems to me that we can never be loving if we aren't first ethical, mm -hmm. but we can be... We ethical. can be even more loving yes. by extending the ethics to another place. Yes. And the extending the ethics to another place is not demanding of other people what I am willing to give them. So in other words, yes. I, I am willing to give them love even if they hate me. I'm willing to give them love even if they're angry with me. I'm willing to give them love even if they don't accept me, they don't approve of me, and they try to make my life a living hell. Yes. That is an extension of pure ethical behaviour, but that is the next step. The first step is at least equal behaviour, <laughs> where, where what I engage in with you is exactly what I expect or would like you to engage in with me. Yeah, I think what is coming up for me is about barter mm -hmm. because many people just engage that from a very intellectual in addiction based place, don't they? Mm -hmm. And they say, I'll give this to you, you give it to me and then we're, we're good. But often and that's, that's not, not honest. ethical. No, but it's not also honest. Yeah. And the, like most barters do not involve exchanging the same thing. If we look at, if we look at the barter system, of any barter system, I emotionally in particular, most bartering does not ex involve the exchange of exactly the same thing. F so, it's, for example, yeah, I, I want your approval, right? And, and I give will you give you your approval. If you make me feel safe. It doesn't matter what the reasons. It's sort of like, um, so for example, if, if I want your approval and I'm willing to give you a approval, so if I want your recognition of approval yeah. um, for things that I do that are worthy of approval and uh, therefore I would also at the same time hopefully be willing to give you approval for the things that you are worthy of being approved of. Does that make sense? Yeah. If I had the same, if I had an ethical yes. nature. Yeah. However, most of the time when it comes to approval, that's not what we do. We want approval from the other person without giving them any. Right? And what we do is we enter the barter with a person who's willing to receive no approval but is willing to give it. Right? And this is the problem, is that most barter systems are not ethical in their behaviour right from the beginning. They might outwardly appear ethical, but they are certainly not ethical in terms of the exact requirement of what we want from another person and what we expect to be able to give them. So I would even argue most of the time that we are in unethical behaviour when we are bartering emotionally with another person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we're not expecting the same thing we're giving, we're expecting something different. Yes. So, so in other words, a woman who gives to her husband sex wants safety in return. Yeah. She's not wanting sex in return, yes. she's wanting safety <laughs> in return. Yeah. And, and so she is not in an ethical yes. relationship with her husband under those circumstances. If she was willing to give sex for the sake of getting sex in return, now she's in an ethical relationship with her husband. Yeah, right? yeah, no, that's clear. And if, if she was willing, uh, but if she wants power and the way she gets power is by giving sex, now she's in an unethical relationship with her husband. She gives him sex in order to have power over him and he gives her the power that is an unethical relationship now which is what the normal bartering system does. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yep. 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 So I would, I, would, I would say that the majority of times when we're in a bartering system with family members, with people in our household, with friends, with, with workmates and colleagues and so forth, most of the time we're in a bartering system that is not, ethic not ethical. At least if we were in a bartering system that was ethical, we'd become more loving. Yeah. Yeah, and it just it just reminded me of something I read last week. Um, uh, it was a quote from Harriet Lerner, an author, and she said, um, "If only we would listen to others with the same passion and desire that we want to be heard." Exactly. And that I've, that's been with me all week. Like, how much am I listening? And, exactly. Yeah, uh, because I want to be heard. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So unfortunately, people who want to be heard very rarely listen to others very exactly, much at all, yeah. because the demand they have going out towards others is, "I want you to listen to me. I don't want to have to listen to you." Mm -hmm. So that is an unethical demand. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> and very often we want the, someone to receive our facade. Yep. But we want the the real them from them. Exactly. And that's unethical. And that's too. unethical too. Yeah.
Yep. Yeah. If we 